Concerns of terrorism in the country, spokesperson of the National Chief Imam Sheikh Aremi Yao Shaibu has admonished Islamic scholars to be mindful of teachings which could incite followers or make them susceptible to terrorist groups. Sheikh Aremi Yao Shaibu, among other things, noted that stringent measures have been adopted at places of worship for public protection. There are interpretations and the brands of Islamic interpretations that usually, you know, uh, encourages or gives a certain um, extremist tendencies to the young people who may open their arms, who may open their arms and welcome terrorists when they come into our, our communities. Okay. You know, such um, scholars, if there are, we, we should be able to find out and, and monitor how people are preaching. So if the preaching is the hot type, which really, really edges the young people to become radicalized. Then we target them and advise them to tone down the approach of their preaching and the type of interpretation they put on their on their Quranic text and the tradition of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Um, we've heard it some, somewhere. It has, it has radicalized based on the brand of Islam that one is preaching. Uh, it can radicalize. Uh, and, and from radicalism, we get to the extremist. And once you get extremism, then you can open up the door. And for the external you know, extremists to also enter. And then, then it means they can now get a safe haven when they come. Somebody is prepared to harbor them. The National Network Coordinator of the West African Network for Peace Building, WANEP, Albert Yo Yang, underscored the need for government to scale up border control. Within our own uh, uh, country, in terms of border control, we seem to be weak. On the other side, in Burkina Faso, for instance, there seems to be a lot more diligence in checks. Okay. On our side, it does not seem to be the case. And there are a number of community examples that they have cases, you know, of interference or compromise at one, I mean, various forms, human compromise, and then uh, uh, also uh, material, you know. Then if we have many of these youth who are, there is that growing uh, youth bulge, and they are not actually you know, controlled. And let's know that now we have social media, we have the information technology that can cut the youth off from any form of engagement. Meanwhile, government has served notice to begin a series of citizen engagements and lectures across the country to increase awareness on the terrorism threat.